photo, does it bring back positive memories? I was so small and dinky that I wasn't a very intimidating person at all. <laughs> um, to bring back memories, I didn't really have a great time at school. There was one person in particular who was just a nasty piece of work and uh, he really made my time at school difficult. When you go to a place like that, when you go to a secondary school, it's, it's different because when you're in primary school and you're in year five or year six, you're kind of the oldest in the group and there's that innocence still still there. But and then when you go to a comprehensive school, all of a sudden you're small fish in a very big pond of of kids and that and all of a sudden you, you start experiencing a load of new things and there was this thing that happens in most schools which is ah oh, who's hard who's you know who, who can have it who can have a fight and stuff and you know, I was only small so I, I didn't really have a chance <laughs> but there was this, uh, this this one kid who made my life difficult in primary school he, um, I don't know I was just so scared of him for some reason he um, proper, proper made me scared and I used, to, I used to hate getting up early in the mornings, but in the mornings, particularly in, in year seven and year eight, I um, I had to get up really, really early because I wanted to avoid him in the mornings. So in order to avoid him, I got up, I don't know, I got to school bang on when the gates opened. And right near where my form class was, there was a um, there was an office and the lady was an English teacher, but she didn't come until about 12 o'clock. I always knew this, but her office doors were always open. I used to always go into her office and, ju and just wait there and just wait for everybody to get into their class and I'd turn up about, I don't know, for like 30 seconds on time, all the time and that was all just to avoid this kid and uh, he eventually got kicked out of school but because it just affected me in such a mental way when I was in year 9 and 10 I just went completely off the rails. I didn't have that person that, that made me scared anymore so therefore I thought right, sod this, for some reason I, I, re I rebelled against everything and I thought Nobody helped me when I was in my difficult time when, when this person was knocking around so I'm going to make everybody else's life difficult. For some reason in my head I justified being a bully myself. And that's why I kind of went off the rails and then got kicked out of school and stuff. There could have been something done about it, there could have been, if teachers listened a little bit more. And as much as I'm older now and I don't have anything to worry about now, when I look back at it, it's upsetting because, you know, I was a good kid, I, I would have done anything for anyone. I wish that I had found the strength to tell the people that I knew were there to support me. I wish I told someone. An anti-bullying ambassador is somebody that I needed while I was at school. And because of that, an anti-bullying ambassador is someone that you need to have in your school. I didn't have anybody that I felt like I could talk to. An anti-bullying ambassador is somebody that you can talk to and is somebody that will help you through it. I wish I had that. In the UK, 10 million children are going back to school. Over half of them will be affected by bullying. You can change that by helping us train an anti-bullying ambassador in every school. Here's how you can help. Text ANTI15 followed by £1, £2, £3, £4, £5 or £10 to 70070 and show your support online. This campaign is run by the Diana Award Charity.